The question of what existed before the Big Bang has puzzled scientists for decades. With advancements in cosmology, some answers are starting to emerge, and they are as unsettling as they are fascinating. Renowned physicist Brian Cox has shed light on this mystery, revealing a scenario that challenges our understanding of the cosmos. According to Cox, what existed before the Big Bang was not a void of absolute nothingness, but rather something profoundly strange and deeply terrifying. How our universe was born from nothing, or if there was something that existed before, it remains a mystery. But that is not stopping some physicists from trying to figure it out. My understanding is that nothing comes from nothing. For something to exist, there must be material or a component available, and for them to be available, there must be something else available. Where did the material come from that created the Big Bang, and what happened in the first instance to create that material? Peter 80, Australia. The last star will slowly cool and fade away. With its passing, the universe will become once more a void, without light or life or meaning. So warned the physicist Brian Cox in the recent BBC series Universe. The fading of that last star will only be the beginning of an infinitely long, dark epoch. All matter will eventually be consumed by monstrous black holes, which in their turn will evaporate away into the dimmest glimmers of light. Space will expand ever outwards until even that dim light becomes too spread out to interact. Activity will cease. Or will it? Strangely enough, some cosmologists believe a previous, cold, dark, empty universe, like the one which lies in our far future, could have been the source of our very own Big Bang. The first matter. But before we get to that, let's take a look at how material, physical matter, first came about. If we are aiming to explain the origins of stable matter made of atoms or molecules, there was certainly none of that around at the Big Bang, nor for hundreds of thousands of years afterwards. We do, in fact, have a pretty detailed understanding of how the first atoms formed out of simpler particles once conditions cooled down enough for complex matter to be stable and how these atoms were later fused into heavier elements inside stars. But that understanding doesn't address the question of whether something came from nothing. So let's think further back. The first long-lived matter particles of any kind were protons and neutrons, which together make up the atomic nucleus. These came into existence around one ten thousandth of a second after the Big Bang. Before that point, there was really no material in any familiar sense of the word. But physics lets us keep on tracing the timeline backwards, to physical processes which predate any stable matter. This takes us to the so-called Grand Unified Epoch. By now, we are well into the realm of speculative physics, as we can't produce enough energy in our experiments to probe the sort of processes that were going on at the time. But a plausible hypothesis is that the physical world was made up of a soup of short-lived elementary particles, including quarks, the building blocks of protons and neutrons. There was both matter and antimatter in roughly equal quantities. Each type of matter particle, such as the quark, has an antimatter mirror image companion, which is near identical to itself, differing only in one aspect. However, matter and antimatter annihilate in a flash of energy when they meet, meaning these particles were constantly created and destroyed. But how did these particles come to exist in the first place? Quantum field theory tells us that even a vacuum, supposedly corresponding to empty space-time, is full of physical activity in the form of energy fluctuations. These fluctuations can give rise to particles popping out, only to disappear shortly after. This may sound like a mathematical quirk rather than real physics, but such particles have been spotted in countless experiments, the space-time vacuum state is seething with particles constantly being created and destroyed, apparently out of nothing. But perhaps all this really tells us is that the quantum vacuum is, despite its name, a something rather than a nothing. The philosopher David Albert has memorably criticized accounts of the Big Bang, which promised to get something from nothing in this way. Suppose we ask, where did space-time itself arise from? Then we can go on turning the clock yet further back into the truly ancient Planck epoch, a period so early in the universe's history that our best theories of physics break down. This era occurred only one ten millionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a second after the Big Bang. At this point, space and time themselves became subject to quantum fluctuations. Physicists ordinarily work separately with quantum mechanics, which rules the micro-world of particles, and with general relativity, which applies on large cosmic scales. 
But to truly understand the Planck epoch, we need a complete theory of quantum gravity merging the two. We still don't have a perfect theory of quantum gravity, but there are attempts, like string theory and loop quantum gravity. In these attempts, ordinary space and time are typically seen as emergent, like the waves on the surface of a deep ocean. What we experience as space and time are the product of quantum processes operating at a deeper, microscopic level. Processes that don't make much sense to us as creatures rooted in the macroscopic world. The most we can say with confidence at this stage is that physics has so far found no confirmed instances of something arising from nothing. In the Planck epoch, our ordinary understanding of space and time breaks down, so we can't any longer rely on our ordinary understanding of cause and effect either. Despite this, all candidate theories of quantum gravity describe something physical that was going on in the Planck epoch, some quantum precursor of ordinary space and time. But where did that come from? The Big Bang and the beginning of the universe. The Big Bang is widely regarded as the starting point of our universe, when the cosmos was extremely hot, dense, and rapidly expanding. We observe remnants of this era in the cosmic microwave background radiation a faint glow detectable across the sky. But what triggered this explosive beginning? Was it truly the start, or was there something before it? As Cox explains, the Big Bang, defined as the moment when the universe became hot and dense, is only one chapter in the story of cosmic evolution. What came before might be even more profound, a period known as cosmic inflation. What is inflation? Cosmic inflation refers to an epoch in the early universe when space expanded exponentially faster than the speed of light. This rapid stretching of space-time ended abruptly, depositing immense amounts of energy into the universe. This energy then formed the particles, radiation, and matter we see today, the events we associate with the Big Bang. But the concept of inflation extends further. Theories suggest that inflation may not have occurred just once, in a model called eternal inflation, the universe is viewed as a fractal-like multiverse where inflation happens endlessly in patches. Each patch, or bubble, is a universe in itself, with our universe being just one of many. This raises an eerie possibility. Before our universe's Big Bang, there could have been countless other universes forming and dissolving in an infinite cosmic cycle. A universe that's never empty. The nature of what existed before the Big Bang challenges our understanding of emptiness. Even in a void stripped of matter, energy, and radiation, the universe is not truly empty. Quantum fields persist, and a finite, non-zero energy called zero-point energy permeates space. This suggests that nothingness, as we conceive it, is an illusion. Cox emphasizes this point, noting that even in the most barren stretches of the cosmos, Laws of physics and quantum fields remain active. This enduring presence means that something, some form of energy or quantum fluctuation, always exists. Before the Big Bang, it is theorized that the universe was a cold, empty expanse dominated by inflationary energy. The terrifying implications. The idea of eternal inflation introduces a terrifying concept an infinite multiverse where universes continuously form, expand, and fade. Each universe may have different physical laws, constants, and realities, making our universe just one peculiar outcome among countless possibilities. This multiverse view raises profound questions about our existence. Is our universe unique? Could other universes harbor intelligent life? And if eternal inflation stretches infinitely into the past, does the concept of a beginning even hold meaning? Challenges to understanding the cosmos. Despite the elegance of the inflationary multiverse theory, it does not resolve every mystery. The horizon problem, for instance, asks why different regions of the universe have the same temperature and density despite never having been in contact. The flatness problem questions why the universe appears spatially flat. The theory of inflation provides plausible explanations, but it also leaves open questions about the ultimate origin of the cosmos. Cox, along with other physicists, suggests that we are still far from understanding the full picture. While inflation provides answers, it also introduces new complexities, such as why inflation began in the first place. Brian Cox, the renowned physicist, has sparked fascination and awe with his explorations of the universe's origins, delving into what might have existed before the Big Bang.
While the Big Bang theory remains a cornerstone of modern cosmology, it leaves lingering questions about the events that preceded it. Could something terrifying have existed before this monumental event, reshaping our understanding of existence itself? The standard Big Bang model has successfully described the observable universe, but it faces several challenges. For instance, the horizon problem highlights the unexpected uniformity of the universe's temperature and density despite vast cosmic distances. This uniformity is attributed to a phase of rapid early expansion known as inflation, which stretched the universe and connected regions that are now far apart. Similarly, the flatness problem is resolved by inflation, which expanded the universe to such a degree that it now appears uniformly flat, regardless of its initial conditions. The monopole problem, which questions the absence of certain ancient relic particles, is also explained by inflation, as the extreme expansion prevented the universe from reaching the high energy states necessary to produce these particles. While inflation answers these problems and provides an elegant framework for understanding the universe's early moments, it also introduces profound mysteries. Inflation implies that the universe underwent exponential expansion from a highly energetic, matter-free state. However, inflation is not eternal into the past. It must have emerged from a pre-existing state, possibly non-inflationary and fundamentally different from what we know. This past incompleteness of inflation raises questions about the true origin of the universe, suggesting that the hot Big Bang may not have been the absolute beginning. Quantum field theory offers another intriguing perspective on the nature of existence. According to this theory, the universe is not composed of matter drifting in empty space, but of energy fields permeating all of existence. Even in a vacuum state, these fields remain active, with quantum fluctuations constantly causing virtual particles to appear and vanish. Some physicists propose that the universe itself might have emerged from such fluctuations in what is known as the vacuum genesis hypothesis. This idea suggests that the nothingness before the Big Bang was not empty, but a realm teeming with quantum energy, capable of giving rise to the cosmos. Eternal inflation further complicates our understanding of the universe's origins. While inflation ends in certain regions, leading to hot Big Bangs like our own, it continues indefinitely in others. These vast, inflating regions erase all information about what might have existed before, creating a kind of cosmic amnesia. Even more unsettling is the possibility that our universe is just one of countless regions within an inflating multiverse, separated by vast distances and destined never to overlap. The pre-Big Bang universe, if it existed, challenges our comprehension of time, space, and causality. It forces us to confront the idea of nothingness in a profoundly unsettling way. This nothingness is not a void, but a dynamic state where unimaginable forces and fluctuations could shape reality. Far from comforting, this vision of what came before the Big Bang reminds us of the limits of our understanding and the vast unknowns that still await exploration. Brian Cox's reflections on these cosmic mysteries inspire both awe and humility. The notion of something terrifying existing before the Big Bang underscores the complexity of the universe and the challenges of unraveling its secrets. While science has made incredible strides in explaining the cosmos, it also reveals the profound gaps in our knowledge. As we continue to explore these mysteries, we are reminded to embrace curiosity, question assumptions, and remain open to the possibility that some answers may forever elude us. The Future of Exploration The journey to understanding the origins of the universe is far from over. As our observational tools improve, we may uncover more signals from the distant past, such as gravitational waves from inflation or evidence of dark matter's mysterious properties. These discoveries could reshape our understanding of space, time, and the fundamental nature of reality. For now, Brian Cox's insights remind us of the profound and humbling reality of the cosmos. Something unimaginable and extraordinary existed before the Big Bang, and it continues to influence the universe we live in. As scientists probe deeper into these mysteries, they may find answers that redefine our place in the infinite expanse of existence.